Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm in an attic doing an attic inspection and this is I find this pretty frequently. In fact, I would say more than half the houses I inspect uh, have this issue and that's where the bathroom ventilation duct is venting into the attic. And that's the duct you see the silver one right there on the right. And so this attic is also not properly vented either. And you can see this white area and kind of dark and discolored. Uh, that's most likely mold and mildew there where the moisture from the bathroom fan has accumulated. And so wood is a food source for mold and mildew. And it's even worse when you have an attic that's not properly vented. Uh, this duct work should extend to the outside of the house and a lot of these uh, builders, what they'll do is they will uh, run the ductwork to the soffit area and they, they kind of think it will uh, exhaust that way, but it doesn't. Moisture rises and so, you know, you're really not doing anything just by running it to the uh, soffit area. Now, one of the biggest issues this attic has is that it has pretty much no ventilation whatsoever. I mean, it's got soffit vents down here. I'm going to turn the light out. Maybe you can see the see the, the light coming through on the sides that's one thing you want to look for I don't know if it's going to show up in this camera but uh, it's got the soffit vents but it also has no ridge vent and so there's no way for this attic to ventilate now they had on the other end a gable end vent which has been boarded up and so you know, the only way a gable end vent's going to work is if it goes all the way to the other side and the other side be open as well. And so really probably the thing to do with this attic here is to put a powered uh, ventilation fan up here at the near the ridge. Now if you have a, a open ridge vent there already, uh, you don't want to put a powered fan there because what will happen is, is it will draw air from the ridge instead of the soffit areas and that's where you want the air to come from is from the lower uh, lower side of the roof line where the cooler air is you know really in Alabama or in the south in general you know the best thing to really do is encapsulate an attic and have it uh, a conditioned space just like your house and that's uh, starting to be done uh, a lot in Florida and I'm starting to see some of it here and so you know, this is, can create a, a big problem having a lot of moisture coming up here. And you can see, oh, maybe it'll show up back there. There's some white on that plywood, and that's most likely mildew there. And I'm also seeing some uh, rat droppings up here as well, or mice or rodent. So they've probably got some rodents living up here somewhere. And it's uh, it's not unusual to find rat snakes in the attic either. I actually want to cross them, even their skins laying up on the ductwork and stuff like that. So just know, uh, it's also raining outside too, which is a good time to inspect the attic because uh, that's really the best time is to come up here with a bright flashlight when it's raining really good because you can have leaks going on up here for a long period of time and not realize it because what will happen is this insulation will soak it up and it'll dry out before you can um, real out for it bleeds down to the drywall uh, surface area so anyway i figured i'd make this real short and sweet um you know there's a lot of things involved with the attic uh, if it's not properly vented it can also shorten the life of your shingles as well so there's just many things that can affect the health of the house uh, in your attic and there's not too many people actually go up there too often and that's really why you should have a general uh, home inspection performed on your house you know, so you can kind of sort of catch some of these issues before they really create expensive problems. Uh, well, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and have a good day.